Ye mata chop hot. Assembly Diloto. Hey! Aye! Grammy is here once again. And the nominations came out. <laughs> I know when it is Grammy conversation, everybody has their own opinion. Of course, people, there are some people that others would want to, would want them to get nominations. Of course, they are favorites and it is not a crime. But then, today we are going to have a Grammy conversation on Info Day Podcast. My name is Roland Amate. Thanks for tuning in. If this is your first time, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this content with others. And also share your views in the comment section. Let me hear from you. Let me know what you think. Let me say big ups to Barrister who is behind the camera holding me down. And to Max Snowwall for hosting me in their beautiful cold studios. So if you're watching and listening and you want any form of photo shoot, video shoot, you want them to come and cover your wedding, private event, any kind of event, just hit them on their socials and um, hit them on their numbers and they will get you sorted out. And also, let me say big ups to Shagzi for holding us down on this particular episode as well. If you're looking for the most safe, secure and affordable ride on the market, Shagzi has got you covered. And if you're a driver and you want some cool cash, obviously download, sign up with 20 Ghana CDs. Whatever you earn, whatever you get, it's for you. Pay no commission to anybody. Now, straight to topic. Grammys. Hey, hey, hey. chop hot. Assembly Diloto. Hey. Aye. That American scheme, anytime it happens, or anytime nominees are out, sends headache to some people, especially in Ghana. It does in Ghana. But then, let me say congratulations to man like Rocky Dawuni and also Guilty Beat. I mean, these are people that people are not celebrating enough. We always cry and chale. If Grammy come, then Shatawale and Stoneboy are dead in this country. It is either one party will be trolling the other or vice versa. But then, to the extent that some people even think that if these people don't get nomination, then it's as if Ghana, they will not get nomination at all, at all before. But then, uh, Rocky Dawuni had a nomination. And this is his fourth time. Fourth time in getting nominations in Grammy. Guilty Beat has also had multiple nominations. And this time, has four different nominations on there has four different nominations in one scheme and this is a Ghanaian that is working with other people in the space this is a Ghanaian that is working with other people in the space so guilty beat the 67th annual grammy awards nomination he had nomination for the best global music album and which which is born in the world with terms he had the best african music performance which is also Thames, that is Love Me, JJ. Best R&B song, which is also Burning. Burning, and um, yes, featuring Guilty Beat, and uh, yes, and, uh, and Thames as well. And he also had the best progressive R&B album, which is also Crash. And that is the catalog of Guilty Beat. This is what Guilty Beat had in, um, in Grammys. But then... Rocky Dawuni also had this, and I am going to read an article, but MC Portfolio has said something, and I want us to enter into it, and I'm afraid I don't share next one. Okay, let me read Rocky Dawuni's piece on Ghana Web, and maybe after that, I would have to add MC Portfolios onto it. Kwame Dazi has raised the concern. Maybe I will do that in an editorial, but then MC Portfolio has said something, in connection with Grammys about Rocky Dawuni. But then let me read this piece from Ghana Web. And it says, this one is for Ghana. Rocky Dawuni on the fourth Grammy nomination. Afro Roots originator Rocky Dawuni has reacted to his fourth Grammy nomination. A quote says, this one is for Ghana. He wrote on Facebook, I am honored to announce the Grammy nomination for my new single, Rise for the best global music performance. This is the first single from my forthcoming album, which is set to drop very soon. The singer, songwriter, and record producer revealed, as a music maker, my main mission has to be, my main mission has been to use my sonic creation 
to inspire a deeper sense of creation. Rocky Dawuni Underline Rice was produced by Ghanaian American Nabeyin and FB The Mastermind. Sound engineered by Marshall Bryant and executive produced by Carrie Sullivan. Released by Aquarian Records, Rice is distributed by Top Gong International. Nominees for the 2025 Grammy Best Global Music Performance are Rat Kirani, that is Oroj Af Aftab, A Rock Somewhere, which is Jacob Kulia featuring Anuska, Shanka, and Edin Wediombukunye, Varisha, and Rice, which is Rocky Dawuni, among others. And that is what came from Ghana Web, even with Rocky Dawuni. But then, after Rocky Dawuni had said this, and of course, we all know when it comes to Grammy conversations, so many people go to Rocky Dawuni. Oga, show us the way. You've had nomination not once, not twice, not three times, but now this is the fourth time. Oga, show us the way. And on countless occasions, the legend has always talked about the same thing that this Grammy CEO came to Ghana came to say. That it is not about your fan base, it is not about how loud you are, but there are some technicalities that you need to follow. Even with your product has to do with originality. You need to release your product in America because it is an American-based award scheme. And priority is given to its base. That is America. So if you indeed want to get involved with the Grammys, then the need for you to actually release your project in America is high among other technicalities. And of course, we all know the politics attached to some of these conversations is also very, very essential. And that is what came from Rocky Downey. But then, MC Portfolio on Hits FM Day Break Hits also had a different opinion. According to MC Portfolio, he says, Charlie, Sadiana ye per se ye ye could be sa or gasho as the way it could be sa rocky da you know. He believes that Charlie that thing is a cliche. I was see him could ja rocky da wini bisa because it is not something that he himself probably has an idea on how any other person can get nomination. Because maybe if we want to go and ask, he would still come and tell us the same old, same old story. Yes, make sure your product is original. You become part of the recording academy, do this, do that, and that is all. But MC Portfolio says he's believed that some of our people have done it, yet they weren't able to get nomination. In this case, let's now jump him and go for the plugs. But some people are saying that, mm, MC Portfolio, what are you saying? Are you saying that Rocky Dawuni? has no idea or has no clue on how to get nominations in the Grammy. Well, watch this video. Was Rocky Dawuni. Portfolio, let me let me get to you. You you heard Rocky. Hmm. Um is that something you disagree? Uh, yeah, I think um well let me very circumspect so this is not taken out of context. But I want to believe that this is just a regular music philosophy that the legend keeps on preaching in connection with how to bag a Grammy nomination. I feel there is something something in there that he's not telling us. Mm -hmm. I respect him for the fact that he's represent, represented us for all these years. But I think we are asking the wrong person how to bag a Grammy nomination Why for do you Ghana. think so? I think we don't have to ask him, but I know Coxio that we have to ask the label or whatever forces that is engineering this whole thing for him. Hmm? I am uh, quite sure yes, that he yes, sometimes yes. would be equally as clueless how he, as, he, as to how he earned certain nomination um, um, for the Grammy. I think the power forces behind him are those we should fish out. Because over the years, he has said the, virtually the same old story of Originality, hey guys. infusing. Guess what? Uncle, mm. Uncle Kennedy has, has sent me a message. Mm. He says, Good morning, Andy. Mm. Shila E. Escovedo. <laughs> Shila E is a drama percussionist, daughter of a famous father, mm. Pete Escovedo. Mm. A percussionist, they are known jazz artists. Thank you. Mm. P.S. She sings too. That's another librarian. Oh, yeah. An older version of you. Uncle Ken. <laughs> Pasa, you guys. <laughs> so, me, me, I'm quite right, sure. I'm quite sure that. Sometimes the legend Rocky Dawoni earns nominations 
out of his awareness. He will just leave it to the powerhouses that really engineers. So he, we can only solicit for him because he's an authority in that space. But he is not the right person to ask how to bag a nomination to represent Ghana. The power forces behind it. And you see, Ghanaians would be, you see, anytime he earns a nomination, you know the talkability around his nomination is not as loud as how we throw other artists that we think are supposed to be in there, especially the one who has been victimized in the, the trolling game anytime there's Grammy nomination is Stoneboy, which you and I know. The reason why I'm bringing Stoneboy in, in this is because Ghanaians will be more excited to see a resident arts who activated his music career here being in there more than um, um, I mean, someone who represents us from wherever. I mean, I don't know if you are getting me. So, you know, he, he has been, he activated his music career from the States over here. That is how come... From here to... From here, but, but I mean, the, the Rocky that The span we, was longer there. Over there, are you getting it? That is how come even when someone like um, 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 Stoneboy misses out on Grammy nomination, he becomes a troll. Even when he had not submitted, even when it doesn't revolve around him, he still become a troll. Meaning that Ghanaians really know that they want a resident. And that's how come before Sarko they emerged as the BET winner, people were still not delighted about the fact that a Ghanaian, which is Tomzi, had represented that at BET. They don't care. They want to see someone who activated his music career here representing for the Grammy. And that is where they will, Ghana will feel like, okay, I get it. So I feel the legend needs to and i understand him because labels also need to protect their artists no matter how you think this is the way this is a great way to the grammy there's a political element to it that we are not fishing out we have to prove further than just always asking him how to do it because he'll go about the same old narrative of injecting and mind you now even the grammy has moved from the quality the quality element of, I mean, I mean, shortlisting a uh, YouTube pop now, pop, uh, more popularity injection has been. Yeah, has, has, I has, agree. That is MC portfolio for you. Well, share your views in the comment section. Let me hear from you. Do you agree with him? Or you say, Charlie, there's more to it than meets the eye, like he's saying. And I will say, Charlie, at the end of the day, and what I will hope, you try a one year service But then, why do you think people are not celebrating the likes of Guilty Beat and Rocky Dawuni that are getting nomination? But rather, when our quest and test for others to also get nomination, Omunya Krana and for Munyashe. Well, thanks for tuning in. My name is Roland Amate. This is live on Roland Report. So if you're watching or listening for the first time, of course, share your views in the comment section. Let me hear from you. Let me know what you think about this particular topic. But then before I wrap up, let me say big ups to Barrister on camera and also Max Noward in general for hosting me. My name is Roland Amate. Let me say big ups to you as well for spending time with me. Until then, I'll see you when I see you. Peace. Bye-bye. Yeah, my dad, job hot. Assembly Diloto. Hey! Aye! Hey!